Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you've watched my uh, video that I posted, the one previous to this one, I had shown you uh, the process or the, the, the ingredients that I use for a paint pour and because this was a large canvas I would only done a little bit on one side and then because it was enough paint I decided to swipe the canvas so that I could spread the paint out and then um, and then you know create some more art on top of that so I am now going decided that I was going to paint an image of uh, a woman underwater if you get the drift <laughs> so what I'm gonna I'm gonna try and achieve that anyway so I'm I've used a um, white pastel um, to kind of draw out the outline of what I'm going to paint over and what I've uh, uh, done is usually in my last paint pours and my last uh, paintings that I've done acrylic pours and then I've used uh, oil paints so either Windsor & Newton or Daler & Rowney oil paints to paint over my acrylic paints and it works really well and it dries really well as well and you can work with the oil paints on top of this really well so I find that really good because I find it easier to work with oil paints when I'm painting uh, because they are they, they're slow drying and you can you know chop and change as you please or you know if you've made any errors you can always um, correct them so I'm gonna now do a painting on top of this and your previous painting uh, pour that I showed you um, of you know the cells and how to get cells and what ingredients to use for your cells so then because I swiped on top of this uh, this is the effect that you get and it's pretty good and I'm I mean of course it doesn't you know show up that great on video but it is really vibrant and really nice and I'm gonna try and create something else on top of this um, pour so stay tuned and let me know what you think in the end thanks for watching guys see you in a bit so basic um, blending for uh, skin tones uh, I usually use um, titanium white yellow ochre burnt umber and red and then what I do is I mix all these three together like so and add some white there as well so that gives you the skin tone the basic uh, skin tone that you know people usually have uh, the undertone and then of course you can add and add highlights or you know shadows as you please with the same colors so avoid using um, uh, ivory black because that kind of makes your paintings gray so always use I use these three colors but of course every artist is different and I'm sure they have their own ways but these are the three colors that I use